So as you guys know, I buy lots of watches off of eBay. I have a bunch of searches set up for specific brand names. One of them is Chronofix. I'm looking for a vintage Chronofix. However, a lot of new Chronofixes have actually been popping up in my searches recently. This is not a Type 20, and that's kind of the watch that I was going for. Uh, Type 20 is, uh, is a watch that came out in the 1950s. It was commissioned by the French uh, Air Force, and it was used to time bombs. It was a flyback chronograph. Uh, Breguet made it famous, obviously, but there were other watches, other watch brands that actually produced Type 20s for the French. One of them was Chronofix. One of them was Aran. Aran I actually featured on the channel. Uh, another name brand that was a ne another brand that was basically purchased and then uh, they made a couple of watches with it in a uh, mecha quartz format, a larger format. Now they've gone down in size and they're using a Le Joux Pere uh, hand wound movement and it's, uh, and it's a little bit closer, a lot closer to that original. Uh, Chronofix is one of those brands, as I mentioned. However, this is a watch that I don't think I've ever seen before uh, in their catalog. And I think they did a pretty good job with it. However, there is a reason why these are selling for pretty cheap on eBay right now, and we're gonna get into that. Um, and it's really not a problem with the watch, uh, but there is another problem. So, uh, nice little box, comes in a blue box. Uh, it is cardboard, and then you have a leather inner uh, sort of carrying case. This carrying case has a snap enclosure. It's really hard. And there we go. Um, and then you just get a little warranty card. And this is the first uh, little problem that I'm going to point out in a second. They're actually the problem, I guess. Uh, but it's a nice little carrying case. Uh, you could put a watch in there. It comes with uh, this little thing that you put between the, uh, the bracelet so that uh, it doesn't get scratched, and here's the watch. So it comes on a very nice, solid beads of rice bracelet, and it has a sort of aviation calculator on the bezel, on the inner bezel, um, and on the dial. So there's essentially three bezels here, and I'm not sure exactly what it all does. I could put that up uh, on, the, uh, on the screen, uh, but I have to say two things. Uh, immediately when I got it, I tried the bezel action because I was kind of concerned about it. And it's great. Um, the size of this watch is really good. It has a screwing crown, and I believe it gets 200 meters of water resistance, which is excellent again. It has female end links, as you can see, on this really solid beads of rice bracelet. It gets screwed links and a double deployant buckle, which is milled. And the best part, you can see the movement from the back. It is a signed rotor and it says Chronofix on it. And it's Miyota 9015. So what did I pay for this? $195. I mean, you could look this up, it is public. Uh, these are going for pretty cheap on eBay right now. If you go on eBay, there are a bunch of sellers selling these at higher prices, but no one is buying them. Uh, and I think I know why, but uh, I'll get to that in just a second. You have a dome sapphire crystal. There is AR coating. It's like, like blue tinge to it, which you could definitely see. There's a little red accent there, triangle at the 12 o'clock. Uh, kind of a small area for the time. There's very short hands. That's because they've put tons of little uh, rings here. So there is a, a, a chapter ring, and then you have another ring that goes around that uh, dial, and then you have the dial. It just says automatic chrono fix, that's it. Um, and the hands, which are pretty nice actually. And then you just get a silver seconds hand. Let me wind the watch really quickly. So the crown is nice and big. Uh, I'm gonna do measurements in just a second, uh, but it is actually a pretty nice crown. Uh, overall, a nice case shape on here as well. Uh, and I'll go through the case. It's uh, nicely finished as well, I have to say. The crown is actually signed. Um, and it just says Chronofix on it, uh, and it just says it in a circular pattern. I'll do a close-up of it. Um, it looks like it might be just carved in, but it looks good. Uh, you do get a screwing case back, of course, uh, because you do get pretty good water resistance, as I mentioned. I believe it is 200 meters. Yep, it says 200 meters there on the case back. That's pretty good, I have to say. Uh, and it is 
13.6 millimeters thick. The crown width is 6.3 millimeters, which is really nice considering this is a 40 millimeter watch. Um, it is 40.6 is what I'm measuring at the bezel, but at the case, it actually is around 40 millimeters. Uh, maybe just a little bit under was what I measured prior to, uh, to doing this. And then the actual uh, lug to lug with those female end lengths, 46 millimeters. So uh, 46.3, it's actually smaller than the actual lug width. So very, very nice. Really good, nice execution, really nice size, beautiful bracelet, uh, very heavy beads of bracelet on here, very solid beads of bracelet. And you do get four positions of micro adjust. I do like the clasp. The clasp has uh, a little bit of a, of, of a style to it. I guess it's more like a mid-century sort of look. It says Chronofix on there, which makes sense because of the error that it comes from. Uh, has little creases on the side, but it also has a little polished edge on the side as well. The bracelet is all polished on the edge. Uh, you have brushed on the outside and then polished beads on the inside of the bracelet. Solid end links, of course, which is uh, really nice. Everything is really nice on this watch. So you'd be surprised to find that this watch is really selling for almost next to nothing on eBay. Why would this sell for nothing on eBay? Well, first off, there's two reasons. Number one, on here, the Hong Kong US dollar price is 850 US dollars. Now, I'm not sure if that is the price also in USD. I believe that the price in USD is also $850. At least that's what I could see on their website. If that's the case, this is a ridiculous price for this watch. This watch should be around $400. So that could be the first issue with the watch and that's the reason why it's selling for so cheap compared to its original um, US dollar price. And then the second issue is this right here. So retailer, watch gang. I feel like watch gang is a curse. I don't know, I never belong to watch gang. However, every time Watch Gang has a watch that's halfway decent associated with it, um, that watch fails. Now, I don't know why manufacturers or watch brands would actually partner up with Watch Gang. A lot of the watches that they send out, from what I have seen from reviews online, they don't look good. A lot of them are sort of dogs and they don't really sell well and that's why they're on um, on watch gang in the first place. So they get sort of a relationship with them and then they start selling them there. I don't know why a brand like this would do that. They obviously paid money for the name. So the name Chronofix is a name that they would have to purchase. Someone actually owned that. Um, and this is actually nicely made. As I mentioned, you get a really nice bezel here. The action is really nice. You have a dome sapphire crystal. That's not what makes it nice though. The finishing is what makes it nice. There is really nice brushing on here. You have polishing on the sides of the lugs and then you have polishing on the back. And the case back is very nice as well. It's screwed in. You get 200 meters of water resistance as I've mentioned. So you do get a screwed in crown. Um, and the entire case back is brushed. Uh, you do get, I mean, excuse me, the entire case back is polished except for the top of the case back which is brushed and you get a circular brushing. So it's actually pretty nice. Again, I'm pretty impressed with the way this watch looks and, and the overall fit and finish. The lug integration with the bracelet is excellent. Uh, the lugs are very, very short because you're getting a 46 millimeter lug width. So this will wear very nicely on my seven and a half inch wrist. And I think it probably will wear very nicely on someone with a smaller wrist, especially if you put it on a strap, but 46 millimeters 40 millimeter watch or 41 millimeters if you include that bezel or just under 41 millimeters, I think is a really nice size. I don't know how the loom is. I literally just got it. Um, but I, I, you know, I've been playing around with it for a few minutes and I, I think it's a very good looking and what feels like a very well-made watch, but I will wear it and I'll do a full review for you guys so uh, we can get to the bottom of this. But $195 is what I paid for it. It does have a Miyota 9015, which you guys know I like. There is one other issue with the watch. You can see the date right there at three o'clock. That three is cut off. I'll do, I'll do a close up of it. I don't know the designer of this watch and why they decided to do this. 
maybe this is a reissue, a direct reissue of a watch that came out in like the 1960s or something like that. I have no idea. If that's the case and it had this, then I understand it. But I don't understand this right now. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I would have done away with the three and just left the date or just used a Miyota 9039 and just left the three. One or the other, you can't really have both because you're cutting off the back of the three to have a date window. It's not really visually appealing. It doesn't look good at all. Uh, so that is one probably uh, one flaw. I wouldn't say it's a fatal flaw, but it's definitely a flaw with this watch. So very quickly, let me throw it on my wrist. I'll show you what I'm wearing. Uh, today, I am wearing a pretty awesome watch, uh, also extremely well-made, one of the uh, better well-made watches that I have gotten for almost next to nothing on eBay, $150. This is a Swiss-made uh, Solidor Eta powered Bulova uh, Accu Swiss, uh, really thin, beautiful, beautiful watch. I have this on a Mr. Sailcloth strap, just in black with sort of the same tone, white tone, uh, cross stitching there. Awesome, awesome, awesome little watch. Um, so here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. And as I mentioned, I don't have it sized. I literally just got it recently. So I've just only been playing with it. It's a little bit thicker than you would like for something that is technically a pilot's watch, but really not that thick considering you're getting that 200 meters of water resistance and it's also including that dome sapphire crystal you do get a dome sapphire crystal so that does add to that thickness the bracelet is excellent it looks a lot more expensive than it actually is uh, hamilton recently came out with a aviation calculator watch as well um, and i believe that gets obviously a powermatic 80 i believe i want to say uh, and that is a 1500 dollars watch so this is, uh, you know, around $195 what I've paid. If you pay anywhere in that range, I think it's an excellent, excellent watch. Uh, a better value than that Aran that is a chronograph and Mecha Quartz. This is automatic and it gets a Miyota 9015, which you guys know I really like. I do love that movement. I think it looks good. They put a see-through case back on it. You get a really nice beads of rice bracelet if you like beads of rice. Now, I actually think I made a mistake, and I said it's screwed links, but I don't believe it is screwed links. I think it's pin and collar. Uh, but either way, it's a really nice bracelet. Um, that's not a big deal. I don't think you get half links on here. Uh, you do not, but you do get four positions of micro adjust. So you should be able to adjust this uh, to your wrist pretty easily. Interesting little watch, definitely a great price. Let's do a loom shot and then wrap up the video. So. It's an odd dial setup. Obviously, you have this little portion of the dial that is loomed. Indices, hands are loomed. That's it. Are they liberally applied with loom? No. You can see it's already fading. So it's pretty thinly applied. It's not terrible, but it's not very good. Um, I've seen worse, but especially if this is an $850 watch, I think this is terrible for $850. Um, but if it's a $200 watch, what I paid $195 plus tax, not bad. I really don't think it's that bad. Uh, I'm going to size this up for my seven and a half inch wrist. I'm going to wear it. I'll do a full review on it for you guys. I definitely recommend checking them out on eBay. I would not recommend buying them directly from their website. Um, especially with this association with watch gang, basically what happens is a bunch of people get them. They don't like them and then they sell them on eBay. Uh, and they are just trying to recoup some of the money that they actually spent on watch gang, which I get, I understand that. Um, and sometimes the watches aren't so bad. So I don't think this is a bad watch at all. In fact, I think it's a pretty nice watch. Um, but I guess it's not for everybody. Obviously this dial is very busy. And if you don't like that, uh, you're not going to like this watch, but there is a purpose behind it. You know, you could calculate speeds and stuff like that. Nothing that I'm ever going to use. I'm not a pilot, but it does have functionality that you could actually use for every day. Um, that is the 200 meters of water resistance. You have an automatic movement and a sapphire crystal, which is domed. It has the name Chronofix, which is a pretty awesome name. Uh, but again, that's a purchased name. So take it for what it is. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. I like to bring you guys deals, bargains, uh, things that I think are cool that are a very good price. That's pretty much what I'm about. So uh, hopefully you guys found this watch interesting as well. 
Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. So there you go. Loom almost gone. Uh, just hanging on with the hands, really. The indices, you can see it's pretty much faded, uh, just lightly uh, lit up right now. But again, like I said, I only paid $195. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.